Okay, so in today's lesson, we're just going to, we're extending ourselves because we're in stretch. So we're going to have a look at another formula that we can use to find the area of triangle. And it, it's called Heron's formula, named after the gentleman who came up with it. So we have a few formulas for triangles. And so this first one, the area of a triangle, where we have half base times height, that's the general one that you've probably already been using. So that's when we're given the base along here and we're given the height of the triangle. Sometimes there is another formula over here where we will use, where you can use the angle in the triangle. So say we were given this triangle and we might have been given this side and that side. This is another formula, but you will do that in the later years as well so we'll just we won't be looking at that one today it's the third formula here that we're going to have a look at and heron's formula so heron's formula is when you're given all three sides of the triangle so say i was given that was three that's two i might say that's two as well all right so when we're given all sides of the triangle we can use this formula here um, so we're looking at this formula here. So the square root symbol is found on your calculator. And obviously what you do with, we can see we've got this A, B and C, but they're showing you here on the diagram, the three sides are A, B and C. So I could call this A, A, B and C. Doesn't matter which one you label, but you're doing it now so you just call them a b and c but you can see in the formula they've got this s as well so what is s we need to work out s first and s is here and this is how we find out s so in my example here s would be i add up all the sides which is 2 plus 2 plus 3 and i divide by 2 so i end up with s is 3.5 once I know what S is, S is, I can go pop that into the formula. So to find the area, I'm going to pop that into the formula. So into the calculator, you'll put the square root symbol. You put 3.5, open a bracket, do 3.5 minus A, which was 2 for me. And then we do times S again, so 3.5 minus b which was 2 times 3.5 minus 3 okay so that's all under there and you'll get the area so I'll go check out what my area is for this example okay and I end up with I say 1.98 and I didn't say its area so I might call these centimeters I didn't say what they were so I'll say centimeters squared all right, let's go again. So I've got a couple here to practice with. So remember the sides, we just label A, B, and C, okay? Now, first, we've got to find out what S is. So S is when you add all the sides up and you divide by two. So I'm finding what S is first. Okay, so I find that S is 17.1. So now when I write the area, I'm finding the area. So I'm going to do the square root symbol and I can see up there in the formula, it first tells me to put S and then I'm timesing it by S again, but minusing A. So for me, it was 10 times in by 17.1 minus B, which was 12 in this case, um, times in by S minus C, which is 12.2. So you do all of that under the square root symbol on your calculator and we'll get an answer. Now these are kilometers, so it's gonna be kilometer, squared kilometers and I might just do to one decimal place. Okay, so we end up with 55.1 kilometers squared because it's area. Okay, all right, so let's go and try the other one. So I'm just gonna call that A, B, and C. So first I need to find what S is. So I'm adding up 
all the sides and dividing it by 2 to get what s is okay so s ends up being 14.15 so now when I go find the area it's s first 14.15 time and then s minus all the sides oh, I'm gonna run out of room move that over a little bit sorry moving that over so I don't run out of room so 14.15 minus 12.7 and the last one 14.15 whoops minus 5 all under the brackets and we'll end up with area equaling okay so I, I'm gonna do the one decimal place so 25.8 and this was centimeters squared this time Alright, so you're just going to be practicing using this Heron's formula today.